So in this reaction, we're going to identify the homo and lumo orbitals of a few reactions. Now before we look at that, let's recall what homo and lumo orbitals are. Now recall that a Lewis acid base reaction is simply a reaction between the highest occupied molecular orbital known as the homo of one compound and the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital of a second compound known as the lumo. So we basically have a pair of electrons grams another molecule or compound. So let's look at the following reaction. So here we have an amine, we have ammonia that reacts with our H plus ion. So our Lewis acid and Lewis base. So here we have our molecular orbital that is occupied. It has a pair of electrons which grab this unoccupied orbital, 1s orbital. So this sp3 hybridized molecular orbital is our HOMO. It's the highest occupied molecular orbital. While on this molecule, or actually atom, our lowest unoccupied molecular orbital is the 1s orbital because we're missing an electron. We have a cation, so we have an empty 1s orbital, so this is our LUMO or lowest unoccupied molecular orbital. So when these two orbitals interact, so we have the sp3 interacting with the un, uh, 1s and we form the following two orbitals. We form the bonding molecular orbital and the anti-bonding molecular orbital. Now since this orbital is lower in energy, that means our electron pair coming from this highest occupied molecular orbital goes directly into this bonding molecular orbital. So let's look at a few more examples. Now let's suppose we have example A. In this reaction, we have a hydroxide with a negative sign interacting with a sodium ion with a positive sign and we form sodium hydroxide. So which one has the HOMO and which one has the LUMO? So clearly, this is our base. Why? Well, because it has a pair of electrons that it can donate, that it can use to grab another molecule, in this case, atom. So that means this pair of electrons, the orbital that is found in, must be the HOMO. So the highest occupied molecular orbital is the filled, non-bonding, sp3 hybridized, orbital, molecular orbital. So what's the LUMO in our case? Well, if this is the HOMO, this must be the LUMO. So the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital is the empty 3s orbital of our sodium atom. Let's move on to example two, reaction two. Here we have a hydronium acid reacting with our hydroxide base, forming two H2O molecules. So which one is the HOMO and which one is the LUMO? Now this one is a bit tricky and we'll see why in a second. So let's begin with HOMO. So the HOMO has the highest or is the highest occupied molecular orbital. And that means our hydroxide has a lone pair of electrons so it must have the HOMO. So our filled non-bonding orbital of the OH is our HOMO and it's sp3 hybridized. So it's the same exact HOMO that we saw in example A. Now what's the LUMO? Well if we examine our hydronium ion we see that every single orbital is taken. Every single uh, bonding orbital is taken. We have the three bonds and we have a pair of electrons which aren't drawn here. Let me fill them in. We have a pair of electrons on this oxygen, so all four types of orbitals are filled. So that means if we don't have our bonding orbitals, our sigma bonding, we must use our sigma anti-bonding. So the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital is the empty unoccupied sigma anti-bonding orbital of one of the HO bonds. Now let's go to example C. In example C we have an alkene reacting with our hydrobromic acid to form the following carbocation with a positive charge and our bromine anion. 
So which one is the homo? Which one is the lumo? So which one of these is doing the donating? Which one is using its electron pair? So clearly it's the alkene. This pair of electrons in the pi bond is used to attract or take this H atom from our bromine. So that means our highest occupied molecular orbital is the pi bond, the pi bonding of the carbon-carbon double bond. So our HOMO is the pi bond. What about our LUMO? So once again, our LUMO must be on this molecule. But notice that the bonding or the sigma bonding orbital is taking. So that means we must go to the next unoccupied orbital. So we're dealing with an anti-bonding. And so the LUMO, the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital, is the unoccupied anti-bonding sigma molecular orbital of HBr.